Hey everyone, on today's video, I am staying in Torremolinos in what is described as a four-star hotel. So first impressions are, it actually smells in here. There's a very, there's a very drainy toilet smell. It's very, very basic. I've got clean towels anyway. Oh, hang on, what's this? Didn't see that, the toilet. It's nice, but it's a bit dated. I did request for a double bed. They said that they would try the best to do it. Um, well, this is just two single beds. Very, very dimly lit. Got a lamp there, we've got a fridge, and there's nothing in it. This play, we've got a safe. Looks like it's come from the 60s. Just like these doors. Very, very old. Very old telephone. Doesn't work. Bedside lamps. Nice detail, but very old. Got a TV. Uh, what's that? Is that to put my bag on? Got a chair. The furniture matches the doors. Um, look at them. <laughs> that's, that's not even on properly. Balcony, out this way. <sighs> Balcony's big. Yeah, the only problem that's letting it down is it stinks. Um, there's just a smell of really, really fresh drains and, and toilet. Like someone's just been to the toilet and here, that's how it smells. Oh. oh. Now that's going to make some noise. Pillars are nice and soft. This is like, you know, it's just your typical Spanish duvet, which is like a set of curtains. So I booked this through booking.com and I booked it two weeks ago. However, yesterday I decided to pay for it. So I didn't have to mess about getting here. Now, when I got to reception, they had two bookings in my name. Uh, one was paid for which is this one, and one wasn't. So there was a bit of a faff about that. Um, I've got sorted, so hopefully I don't get charged again. Um, now I asked, because they do an all-inclusive here, I asked how much to pay all-inclusive for one day. So I've got all my food and drink, and 44 euros. So let me know what you think of the place. This is supposed to be a four-star hotel, but I'm not feeling four-star vibes from it at all. Um, I've stayed in better twos than this, but you get what you pay for, don't you? It's been a long day, it's been traveling, um, so I'm gonna go get showered, and then I am going to go to sleep, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good night. Right, good morning. Um, so I've completed my first night's sleep, which wasn't too bad. The bed, I'd say the beds, but well, yeah, it is the beds because um, it's two singles pushed together and they're not even um, actually together. They are, as you can see, 
literally two separate beds. There's not even a sheet over both of them to make it one bed. But anyway, it was quite comfortable. Um, my phone decided to ring. Someone decided to phone me at half past one. And I don't know why, um, because it's just not somebody that would phone me. So now I struggle to get back to sleep. Um, the rooms are very, very, very noisy. There's a family with a few kids next door and I can hear everything. I woke up around about seven o'clock and I could hear someone maybe above. And they were snoring really loud. The bed's very noisy. Uh, and there was also the smell of tobacco. So someone was clearly having a cigarette somewhere, um, which woke me up. Um, so yeah, very, very disappointed with it. But I don't think the view is too bad. You can just about to see, there's a sea over there. So I'm gonna go out for a wonder soon. I don't know. Hey everyone, so I bit the bullet. I decided to pay for all inclusive for the day and that was 45 pounds, which has obviously given me my dinner, lunch, tea, evening meal, and all my drinks. And also I get my breakfast tomorrow morning and that was 45 pounds. It just saves me walking up and down, trying to find somewhere to eat. It also means that I can sit around the pool, which I have done, and I can just go to the bar and get a drink. Um, if you do sit around the bar, you get given a plastic cup. You have to pay one euro deposit, which you will get back when you return it. Hey everyone, so I think I may have been slightly um, harsh on this hotel. Um, so I've had, a, I've had a day today where I've enjoyed being in the hotel and I've paid to have all inclusive today, which was 45 pounds for the day. And I've managed to explore a bit more of the hotel. So there are some negatives to it so yes the negatives the the interior of the rooms is very very dated and this room has like a door handle missing the carpet is worn it's filthy um the decor isn't the best so on first inspection yesterday that did put me off and also the smell that I mentioned still hasn't gone. Um, there is that still, that it still smells like someone has just been to my toilet and used it and left. And it's been like that ever since. Now, because I've only been here for 48 hours, um, there's no point in me moaning about it because then I've got, to, I've got to move. So I've just, to, um, I've just got to sort of bear with it. And obviously today having the balcony door open has helped air it out. The hotel itself states that it is a four star and the grounds of this hotel are pretty amazing. Um, but there's a lot of random cows dotted about. There's big, massive, random cows and I don't know what that's about. Yeah, they've got a, a, lovely, um, a lovely garden, 
with a water feature and all the parakeets, are they called parrot parakeets? I'm not too sure. Um, they're everywhere flying around and, it, and it's nice. Um, and there's there is a massive patio area where you can take your sunbed there. Um, around the pool, there's been free beds all day. Um, it's not been busy at all, so there's been loads of sunbeds free. It's still too cold to go into the pool, so I've not bothered going in. Um, food, the food is actually really, really good. It is probably one of the best hotels that I've stayed in for food. Um, the best one was Benidorm. Um, if you go on to my profile, you can catch up on that video. One of my first ones. This one hasn't been, it's not disappointed me. Dinner time was very nice and tea time again. I just went with lasagna and chips today. So there was no point in filming that because that's just bog standard. Um, so this hotel has um, a gym, which when I went to look at it, there was no one in there. Um, running machines, cycling machines, and it looks a pretty decent gym for the size of it. It's only small, but if you need the gym whilst you're on holiday, I don't, um, there is one here. So I am currently staying in the Royal Al Andalus in Torremolinos, four-star hotel, but there are certain things that I don't like, and there are certain things that are putting me off this hotel. Have a look. My door handle, is not attached properly. Well, luckily it isn't my main door, but it's still not very good. Not for a four star, you should not be expecting that. And also the paintwork is just a bit dated now. It, the whole thing just really does need a bit of a, a bit of a freshen up to bring it into sort of 2024. Right, one last thing. On here, as you can see, these are my analytics for YouTube. Did you know that in the last 28 days, 96.1% of you guys that watch this aren't subscribed? So, please subscribe, press like, share it, save it, do all them sort of things, and I will love you forever. Thank you. Morning everybody, so that's it. I am done here. Um, I've just been down for breakfast, which I didn't film any because it wasn't worth filming. It is just your standard Spanish hotel breakfast. As soon as you put it on the plate, it goes cold. So I ended up having a bowl of cereal. So yeah, checkout is 11. So I've now got to get all my stuff together and then I am probably going to go and jump on the train and spend the day in Malaga before my flight tonight. So, would I stay here again? The answer is no. Location-wise, I could have had a better location than this. Um, you are a good 10-minute walk to the beach from here. There's an ant infestation in my room. The room still stinks. The smell is just, as soon as you walk through the, the, the door, it is unbearable now. It's just very drainy. Um, do I think it's a four star? No, I'd say it's more like a three. Um, but that's just my opinion and the price I paid for it, I can't grumble. And that was, the price I paid was 85 pounds and that was for two nights. And then I did decide to upgrade to all inclusive, which was another 45 euros not pounds if you've managed to stick around till the end please 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 like it and just please subscribe because that means so much um and i will love you forever and ever and ever um so yeah thank you very much and i'll see you next time